Hello everyone, I'm Professor Geek. Welcome back to the channel. I certainly don't care about the MCU anymore. I couldn't give two flips about what the MCU does because it's, it's useless, it's pointless. And they just announced today that Kevin Feige is like, not only is he head of the MCU, he's the head of all of Marvel now. You know, and um, it's like, guys, maybe like wait and see the consequences of the last, you know, <laughs> big decision <laughs> play out. Like Endgame was a smash hit. He, he gets all of the world now. Well, Endgame was never going to be anything besides a smash hit with the weight of the entire universe to that point, all of this culminating moment, you know? So, um, but they made solid, crucial changes within that movie too, that killed it for so many people. And it's just like, why are they not understanding that this is not going to be a continued success anymore? It's, um, it's bizarre. So, uh, but they're doubling down. And it's, what's funny about this, let me show this um, to my, to my, to the best of my ability, I think this is just a st it's still just a rumor, unless somebody knows that it's been confirmed or something like that past this. But this so it's a story. It, it says it's a rumor, but it's uh, they've, they've got some good sources. <clears throat> I actually saw this on Twitter is where I found it. Uh, Doomcock was talking about it, and Vilnid actually um, shared it. And Vilnid had a really cool commentary on it, too, that I'll talk about here in a second. But the idea is that, okay, so they did make the deal to bring Spider-Man back for at least Spider-Man 3, right? And the uh, uh, yes. and and since they don't really have a deal in place, to my to my best of my knowledge at this point, maybe something's changed since this because this was only a few days ago though. Um, they don't really have any kind of big deal in place after that, so they're wanting to just kind of wrap up Peter Parker's story arc in in Spider Man Three in his trilogy there. But then they're thinking if they can do a Spider Man Four, they want to team him up as as we've been saying, as everybody's been saying, this is the rumor, and everybody's like, no, it's ridiculous. Stop. No, it's it's pretty much true now. People see that they're wanting to team him up now with Captain Marvel because Captain Marvel is so damn unlikable, and no one likes her piece of crap face. And that's what um, that's what Kevin Feige has absolutely mm -hmm. set in stone that the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe is to be founded on now from this point forward is her horrible character and her horrible charisma and all of that. Um, she's poorly written and all this kind of stuff. So. Um, what do they do? What do they do? Well, let's take the character that everybody loves. And this is such the heart, you know, to take Peter Parker and pair him up with her, pair him up with her. So this article, I won't read it, but basically the gist of it is that in Spider-Man four, if they do that, or it might be one of the Avengers movies or whatever, who knows if it's going to really be called Spider-Man four or something like that, probably be an Avengers movie. They're going to bring in the sinister six. And uh, this is the rumor by a lot of reputable sources, it says, or whatever. Uh, and they're going to have the sinister six be the threat. And they're going to kind of do it like a, like a Civil War style, not exactly, but sort of a Civil War style, Captain America Civil War style movie where you have um, Captain Amer uh, Captain Marvel and Spider-Man kind of at odds, but then but then learning to work together and having to come together to overcome the threat of the Sinister Six. And this is this. Check this out. Um, Spider-Man and Captain Marvel will become the new Tony Stark and Captain America, respectively. Huh? <laughs> I this is so believable that Disney is this deluded to think they can pull this off. No first, one cares about her. <sighs> first of all, Spider-Man is Spider-Man. He know, needs a... no one's replacement. Mm -hmm. And do you know what this tells me? What's that? They know Captain Marvel is a disaster. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they do absolutely oh. do it's like oh okay we've got to oh we gotta say okay uh we got okay okay let's put her with spider-man mm -hmm. and we'll introduce the some of the great the, one of the greatest villain teams oh wait a minute we can't use them uh oh god no, okay well we got tombs in jail well maybe we can break them free we'll see mm -hmm. what happens yeah so either they're gonna have to like they're gonna have to create was it doc ock uh electro I don't know. I haven't read enough to, to know and name them all right now. Oh, but, yeah, there's been a well. There's been uh, there's been a bunch that different versions of this. Yeah, yeah, they can throw six, just six big characters together and do it. Jake Quinlan points out that Dan Slott did a run on Spider Man where uh, he was very Tony Stark like, and you know what? That was also under all new, all different Marvel, which is where Kevin Feige is just like pushing the entire MCU to base after, which again was a failure, and it's um, I mean, yeah, so it's a good point that Dan Slott run, but that just kind of plays into this. It's ridiculous and. Vilnid, uh, <clears throat> his commentary about this when he shared it was that the Sinister Six for Spider-Man. Well, first of all, let's go back to what you said, Al. Spider-Man's not the new Captain, the, the new 
Iron Man. He's never supposed to. So even people that like um like Tom Holland Spider-Man or whatever will still say no. That what is what are they doing in this Far From Home movie? I mean, what are they, he's not he's not supposed to take on Tony Stark's legacy. That's never that's just awful. That's awful writing and, and uh, development for his character. I mean, long before they even bring in J. Jonah Jameson, they've got him being the new Tony Stark. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, you know, no Mary Jane, of course, and all this, you know, anyway. So um, the idea of, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Vilnid said that the Sinister Six, they're supposed to be a real challenge for Peter Parker. It's kind of like Venom. Venom is supposed to be a huge deal for Spider-Man because it's this shadow self villain. It's this whole story arc that Spider-Man has to face and taking Venom and just like, nah, we're just going to make him his own story and his own hero in our own movie. Cause we're Sony. Yay. You know, craps all over that wonderful deck uh, dynamic. They should have had with a, as, as a Spider-Man villain in the sinister six is supposed to be all of these villains that Spider-Man could take down pretty handily alone but they all team up and it's the first time he's really fighting a group of villains who've teamed up and he really has to dig deep and go inside of himself and really kind of bust out all of his, um, you know, ingenuity and everything and really find ways to defeat these characters. It's supposed to be a wonderful growth moment for him to just have him say, um, Captain Marvel, can you come help me fill up the big baddies that are too strong for me? I, <laughs> what, what are you thinking? It's just ridiculous. Eh? But you know, if they do that, Tom Holland, there's some room by, back by Tyler's uh, junk in the freezer. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> it's it's so. Oh, and even if the um, you know parts of this rumor aren't true, like let's say it's not the Sinister Six or whatever, you still know this is happening. The team up and the subjugation of of Tom Holland's Spider Man to uh, Brie Larson's Captain Marvel is coming. It's ridiculous. Oh, I would, I would, I would like. You know what I think they should do? What's that? Of course, of course, they won't in a bazillion years because it's a great idea. Spider Man, Iceman, and Firestar. Oh yeah, the Amazing Friends. Now that would be epic. Against the Sinister Six. That's the movie, folks. I don't know if I put that. This, I don't know enough about Spider Man mythos to say they should go up against the Sinister Six, but well, why not? just all three of them on screen together, <laughs> loving that cartoon growing up, I'd be all about that. Uh, definitely. You find a hot, you find a hot redhead, or they'll probably make her blind. No, they'll make those cast of an together. <laughs> yeah, so screw that. But, Let's not even worry about that right now. <laughs> but but you know, I mean, it's a great time to, uh, you know, you, you've got a, a blank slate with Doc Ock. You got a blank slate with. Uh, Craven, I think, um, like I said, Venom you can't have just replace him with uh, the lizard, you know. Mm -hmm. You could, you could, I mean, you could do it, but I, th I think if they bring in those two, those two to back up Spider Man instead of uh, Captain, uh, Captain Carol, we care about less, mm -hmm. then uh, we'd be all right, yeah. Uh, Jake Quillen points out they've been trying to do a Sinister Six movie for a while. And yeah, I mean, despite the problem with Amazing Spider-Man 2, or one of the big problems, was, was just a big setup for a Sinister Six movie uh, that just didn't work out. And um, But see, that's the thing. Sony never, Sony's got like Warner Brothers. They just keep throwing crap at the wall to see what sticks. And, um, you know, they don't know the characters or how to do them properly. So, uh, you know, and Disney decided to take back their character and do it, you know, um, at least to, to far more success than they can do it there with uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. And it didn't... Um, then nothing still registered with them. They're still like, well, maybe we'll still do a Venom movie, okay, and then maybe we'll do this. And it's just what it's such a convoluted mess. And it's another one of those things that I'm like, yeah, that's ridiculous. But um, I guess I'm a little more pissed off about this because I think more people are still going to go invest their money in this BS than people will invest in DC Comics. Like DC Comics, that's failing and that's going to continue to fail. And you'll still have people saying, well, I really like it. Well, good for you and two other people, you know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the MCU is going to take a little longer to uh, for the consequences of Endgame and Captain Marvel to really be felt. And that's what's going to be kind of annoying, having to wait for that. So, Yeah, Spidey World seems to agree with me. Unfortunately, they would just make Iceman gay and have Firestar be a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>